Today we're going to talk about the biggest obstacle that every online entrepreneur has and the answer might surprise you. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Your Digital Mindset, the channel that is devoted to you, the online entrepreneur, your mindset, and especially your online business. Now, like I say, and honestly, this is true for anything you want to do in life. The biggest obstacle is you. Until you get you right, the rest of it never falls into place. And that's why I try to instill in everybody who follows me is to understand that you've got to work on you. You've got to realize that you can be your biggest enemy, but also you need to be your biggest advocate. You need to be your biggest supporter. And I'm going to go into a couple of things. Not going to be a long video today, but I want to share a couple of things that help me that should help you as well. Okay. And if you actually take action on this, it will. But let's go over a couple of things real quick. Some of the things that are working against this procrastination, a big one. We talk about, oh, we'll do it later. We can do it then. We, you know, something sounds really good. Let's say it's starting an online business and you go, oh, I, I, I want to do that. And you talk about, I'll do it next week. Or I'll do it next month. Or I'll do it after Christmas or whatever. And it never comes. And I learned a little trick and this really works. And I know it might sound silly, but it does work. If you're suffering from procrastination, you can use the NASA technique, the five, four, three, two, one, and then blast off. And I'm telling you, I like to say it might sound silly, but it does work. If you're going, I want to try that, just count down and take action on it. And even if it's not beautiful and it didn't work or whatever, you learn something from it. That's what entrepreneurs understand, uh, that mistakes are just lessons. They're money in your pocket down the line. They're mistakes you don't have to make later in life. And what's really neat about it is when you're early in the game, you don't have a whole lot of money on the line. So you make those mistakes earlier where well, there's not a whole bunch to lose. All right. So keep in, keep in mind that procrastination can be overcome. And I'm going to share some people with you, some mentors of mine that helped me get to where I'm at today. And I think you'll get a lot of value from it. All right. So and then excuses. OK, like today, I was like, I don't have time to make a video today. I've got to, I've got so many things I need to do today that are outside the office. And I'm like, you know what? I have to make my content. My followers expect content and I wanted to talk about this anyway, but I have to get it done. And I had to tell myself, you've got to do this. Too bad you don't have time. Get it done. You've got to tell yourself that when you have a, a business or whatever you want to do, you got to get it done or it doesn't get done. All right. I'm not trying to preach. I'm just trying to share what's worked for me because I was there. I was where I'll do it later. I mean, I spent years dabbling with online entrepreneurship. I wouldn't have got that back there if I didn't finally say I'm going to take some action and get serious about this. But man, I believe me, I was in your shoes. If you're struggling with any of this, like limiting beliefs, thinking, you know, I can't do it. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. You know, nobody supports me. All this stuff. There's no room, in, you know, place in my house, whatever. There's solutions for that. Okay. And, and again, distractions, those are big ones. You got to have focus. All right. And you need to get alone. And I know a lot of people who have kids and stuff like that and, and spouses and whatever. They go, I just don't have any time alone. And my best advice for that is to get up earlier or stay up later or both. And I know that stinks for a lot of people, but I'm telling you for the first two years of my business, when I would wake up in the middle of the night to do what older people like me had to do in the middle of the night, I would just stay up. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever time, get up, start working. Because here's the deal. Eventually, if you're so lucky that your business is going well, then you're going to have customers all over the world. So when you get up at, let's say it's 3 o'clock in the morning, well, it's, not, it's, it's 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning in London or South Africa or in you know, Australia. It's 14 hours ahead. So depending on what your language is, if it's English, obviously you're watching me, so probably it's English. So there's English-speaking countries all over the world that have already been up and about to go to bed if you don't hurry up. So what I'm getting at is, is that getting up earlier in the morning, every once in a while, you have to do it every day. But just, like I say, if you don't have time to get alone, okay, because of kids, spouses, or whatever, then make time, okay? Get alone, because you've got to give it your focus. You've got to get alone to give it your focus. And you're not going to do anything well unless you're focusing on it. Bottom line, if you truly want success, you've got to get alone with your business and your thoughts and your goals and work on it. And again, I don't know any better time than we, the wee hours of the morning because it's usually quiet. And then you're alone. It's a double whammy of good. And you can really think, and you can really focus, and you can really work on your business. And then you're way ahead of the game. By the time everybody wakes up, you're like, boom, I've already done so much before everybody wakes up. You know, you, you have a pep in your step, so to speak. Okay. So I can't stress to you enough how important it is 
to start getting up earlier, staying up later, or both for a while. And again, it doesn't have to be daily, but it needs to be sometimes if you're having that problem of getting along. All right. Now, here's some mentors of mine that I want to share with you that have, they changed my life so much when I said, you know what? I'm going to get serious about this, but I need some motivation. I would made the decision. I made the hard decision of I'm taking the first step because that's the toughest part of a thousand mile journey a lot of times is the first step. So I decided I'm going to do this. And then I sought out some people to motivate me. Who is having success? You know, people that spoke because if I'm not doing it for you quite enough, these people ought to do it. And they have different personalities and different presentations and different ways they present it. So one or you know, maybe one of them will speak to you on your level, whatever your personality is and the way you like to be spoken to. All right. And you probably want to write these down or make sure you save this video, save it, like it, comment, share. I mean, anybody you love, make sure you share this video because this can change their life too. Because this video can change your life if you let it. All right. Now, Napoleon Hill, he is, I mean, he has done so much amazing work and was a mentor to so many of these other guys probably because he did this back in the 1950s and I don't care what you're thinking about oh man that's back in the 1950s I'm telling you it applies every much today as it did back then it is powerful powerful stuff you don't have to be a genius you just, you just have to understand how powerful your mind is once you get it once you understand the power of it once you get it focused and realize what you want you can have it but you've got to you got to you got to harness the power of it. All right. So Napoleon Hill, and I'm going to show you this real quick. Napoleon Hill, you can watch the video series on Amazon. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, and probably 90% 90, 90 of you are, you can watch the video series called Napoleon Hill's Master Key. Little short 12, 13 minute videos, not very long, and 13 keys. All right. So if you can skip a Netflix episode or two every day, you can knock these out in no time uh, if you want to watch the video. Okay. Bob Proctor is another powerful, powerful speaker, too. That just happened to be there. I'm losing my voice a little bit today, so bear with me. Earl Nightingale. Go listen to this first. If you haven't seen any of my other videos where I talk about Earl Nightingale, you see here it says, listen to this every day. If you listen to this every day for a month, even two weeks, just listen to it every day for as long as it takes to, it sinks in. But it should sink in the first time you listen to it because it is powerful. It is life-changing. And you will understand the power of your mind. Okay? So it's Earl Nightingale called The Strangest Secret. When you get all this video, go watch it right now. Next one is um, Ed Milet. Ed is a very great guy who will really get you pumped up. And again, it might not be your personality, so Ed might not speak to you. However, these other ones might. But Ed Milet did some serious work on me that got me fired up when I first got serious about my online business. Okay, And he doesn't really talk about online business. He talks about you and your mind and your goals and your passion and stuff like that. Tom Bilyeu. Now, I want to give a heads up on Tom Bilyeu is that it's colorful is a little blue at times. So if you don't like, and I'm not really a big fan of bad language and I don't use any of my, you know, myself, but I mean, we all do it sometimes, but uh, I'm not a fan of consuming a lot of it. So if bad language is not your cup of tea, but Tom Bill, you an impact theory. If you don't mind some, some uh, blue language, then it's powerful. Impact theory is seriously, seriously powerful stuff. And he has a lot of great guests. So uh, that, that can really help you a lot. And I want to share a couple more with you how to get free books. All right. So like Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That's what he's talking about in those master keys here. Think and Grow Rich. You can get that for free at libgen.li. Okay. Libgen.li. Free books. Tons of them. And then another free book and article source is zlib.org. You get lots of free ebooks and books and articles and all this good stuff at libgen.li and zlib.org, okay, z-lib.org. All right, I hope you got a lot out of that. Again, you are your biggest obstacle, but you can also be your biggest advocate, your biggest weapon, so to speak, of being successful, but you've got to harness you. You've got to put you in the high gear, all right? Super focused, super deliberate, tons of attention. I mean, just you. You're it. You're the key. All right, so if you got any questions, drop them down below. If not, I will see you in the next video. It's Chaz here with Your Digital Mindset, and I can't wait to see you on the inside. Thanks a lot.